Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? Broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? The Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Guy gave his wife a task. I said, all fair and lovely. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. You, Patrick. Good morning. Trying to fit in. Okay, I'm working on the now. I'm to get all the The thing was, he was a really nice guy. I felt that was tolerating. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Gig gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. This ain't the red carpet. Uh, so get out of if my you're looking leg. for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. I don't believe you, Mrs. McAfee. The story's too far-fetched. I think you were drunk and lost control of the car. Well, I suggest you get the results of a blood test first before you go shooting off your mouth. Unless you have some other proof. Well, I could drink you under the table any day of the week and still be fine to drive home. Be careful. I'm starting to dislike you. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. What next? This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. She's a long way from home.
torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Hey, cars at the bottom, broads at the top. That's all I know. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? You're off the hook for now. And she's your protege? <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. You don't remember where the head came from? I don't know anything about a head. Why is everybody talking about a goddamn head? Isn't anyone interested in how I am? Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm being taken in? You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Oh, all these cops. It's gotta be something big, right? Can you drive to this one? <laughs> Do we know where we're going? KGBL the car 11K, 11 King. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor, Detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swaps seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. You 
feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. You could have died in the crash, Jessica. Why would someone want to kill you? Someone wants to kill me? I wouldn't know anything about that. I just went along with Junie. She knows all about the movie business. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? Can't you just let me rest? I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. God damn it, tell the truth, Jessica. I am telling the truth. I don't know where the place is. I barely know this city. I think you should leave now. You're being horrible to me. You should think about going home, Jessica. You're getting mixed up with people who will treat you like last week's trash. Are you crazy? I can't go home. I want to be a star. I'm stumped. Ideas? Let's get out of here for them. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. It's too close, Phelps. Way too close. this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Ballard is definitely up to something. Hit the brakes, Cole. seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery.
funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Get in there and see what she's up to. He wants a five-star goddamn wedding. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his bra. What did you make of the kid? Did you believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 of Progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2, KGPL clear. Roger KGPL, 11K en route. All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 of Progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K code 3, all other units code 2. KGPL clear. Detective Phelps, we received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick with hysterical female witnesses. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. 
That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess. We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I, I will. Thank you, officer. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. You're lying to cover for your husband. Do you know what you'll get for aiding and abetting? I've been abused and slapped, and now I'm accused of lying? If you don't ask, you never find out. Your husband was using June Ballard in his new movie? Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You know exactly what happened yesterday, don't you, Mrs. Bishop? You've been through it yourself. I'm going to call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek accusing me of that. Sorry. My mistake. The girl is named Jessica Hamilton. She was drugged. You should tell me what you know, Mrs. Bishop. My husband is no saint, detective. He's going to have to atone for his own sins. What do you think? Take a look around. You never know what those goons might have left behind. Advice? Take a look around. You never know what those goons might have left behind. Optimistic, Cole. It doesn't appear to be connected. Nothing significant. due to earn twenty thousand dollars why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood twenty thousand dollars Lorna Marlon's ex-wife are you sure? It's a lot of money, Mrs. Bishop. Doesn't it strike you as unusual? Perhaps. Movies are expensive to make. You'd be surprised what expenses get hidden in the budget and how the money gets moved around. <laughs> A girl learns to take knocks in this town, detective. You go. I'll be fine. Help me out. Take a look around. You never know what those goons might have left behind. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica.
them now. Take a look around. You never know what those goons might have left behind. This isn't what we're looking for. Maybe. No. It's like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him, but I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He is a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Any ideas? We need the place for the picture. The prop maker's store with the mermaid out front. Call it in. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a useful wife. Finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. From the stories they've given us, really none of them can act. Badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you. Police business. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to real. You ought to meet Joe's buddy. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man redecorated her apartment? Take this one. Riverbend's got problems, fellas. Maybe she's just loyal. Keep going straight. Don't she's in. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing to do. Take it easy! Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the sky. Take the next left. You could have killed him! Take the next left. Next left. Jesus, Cole! Take this right. Taking the next left. You need to take the next left. Slow down! Straight through at the next junction. Do I tell you how to drive? Cross over, keep going straight. Way too close. Straight ahead. Go straight through here.
And you need to take my car. She wants you can a drive. Five star goddamn wedding. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. I think your problem is with Bishop. I'm stumped. Search Ideas? through all this crazy movie junk. See what turns up. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. to the film of Hamilton's screen test. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop.
McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You have something on him, and now you're going to rat him out to McAfee's goons. And how do you figure that, brain boy? made out like he was better than everybody else. He was no better than any of the other big shot creeps who came in here. I have some friends in the LAPD, so I won't be leaned on. Advice? Search through all this crazy movie junk. See what turns out. saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. work for Mark and Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. You and Bishop are close friends, colleagues? It's business. I normally deal direct with the studio. Have you tried his production office? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps! Roy Earl, add Vice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a Vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a Vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. 
We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. See him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. A slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LMPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. 11K calling KGPL. The president is sent eight in Francisco. The abandoned movie set. The partner is pursuing suspect on foot. Code 3, KGPL. I'm trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. Boy, your choice. I didn't do anything. Harder on yourself, Bishop. Shoot 
for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Detectives are trying to kill me! I'm safe to back the hell down! It's this way! Kathy doesn't make the rules! You hear me? Kill me! For God's sake! I don't want to die! You're making a big mistake. There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Is this really the best McCaffrey's got?
under the car. Come on, Reggie, keep moving. You're surrounded. Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Felt such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. This your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Leroy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cool. This is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alpha. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detective. It was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Lord, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? 
Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? 